Underland, A Deep Time Journey, by Robert McFarlane is a captivating exploration of the hidden world beneath our feet. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the book's themes, narrative structure, and the author's use of language to convey the profound significance of the subterranean realm. McFarlane's work is a testament to the power of language and storytelling in illuminating the mysteries of the natural world. Throughout the book, he weaves together a rich tapestry of science, history, mythology, and personal narrative to guide readers on a subterranean odyssey. The narrative unfolds in three main parts, each corresponding to different underground spaces, the world beneath the land, the world beneath the ice, and the world beneath the sea. This structure allows McFarlane to delve deep into the Earth's history, from the hidden networks of fungi in the soil to the ancient ice caves of Greenland and the uncharted depths of the ocean. One of the central themes of Underland is the concept of deep time, which refers to the vast timescales of geological and ecological processes. McFarlane's journey into the underworld serves as a metaphorical descent into the depths of time itself. He invites readers to contemplate the inconceivable stretches of time that shape the landscapes beneath our feet and the creatures that inhabit them. This theme of deep time underscores the fragility of human existence in the face of geological forces that operate on scales beyond human comprehension. McFarlane's writing is characterized by its lyrical and evocative prose. He employs vivid and sensory language to describe the underground landscapes he encounters. For example, when exploring the underground catacombs of Paris, he writes, the tunnels run like tributaries from the veins of the city. They stink of dust, damp, old bones. This description not only appeals to the senses but also conveys the eerie and haunting atmosphere of the catacombs. McFarlane's ability to evoke a sense of place through language is a testament to his skill as a nature writer. Another noteworthy aspect of McFarlane's narrative style is his use of personal anecdotes and reflections. He interweaves his own experiences and encounters with experts and guides, adding a human dimension to the exploration of the subterranean world. His willingness to share his fears, wonder, and moments of vulnerability creates a strong sense of intimacy between the author and the reader. It also serves to emphasize the book's underlying message that the Earth's hidden realms are not just objects of scientific study but also sources of wonder and reverence. Throughout Underland, McFarlane also delves into the cultural and mythological significance of underground spaces. He explores how different cultures and societies have viewed and interacted with the subterranean world over millennia. This cultural perspective adds depth to the book's exploration of the underground and underscores the idea that our relationship with the Earth's depths is deeply rooted in human history and imagination. One of the most compelling aspects of McFarlane's work is his ability to connect the subterranean world to pressing contemporary issues. He discusses topics such as climate change, nuclear waste disposal, and the Anthropocene epoch, highlighting how our actions on the surface of the Earth have profound consequences for what lies beneath. This ecological and ethical dimension of the book serves as a powerful call to action, urging readers to consider the consequences of our actions on the fragile ecosystems hidden underground. In conclusion, Underland, A Deep Time Journey, by Robert McFarlane is a masterful exploration of the hidden world beneath our feet. Through its narrative structure, rich language, personal reflections, and cultural insights, the book takes readers on a profound journey into the depths of time and space. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of all life on Earth and the responsibility we bear for preserving the delicate balance of the subterranean world. McFarlane's work is a testament to the power of literature to awaken our sense of wonder and reverence for the natural world, even in its most hidden and mysterious corners.